Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new series of Guild Wars 2. Now I've just recently purchased this game and I have already started off as a Necrometer. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to select um, whoops I didn't want that I wanted to make sure that we went to a new character um, as you can see you've got four races you've got the char the human the norn the azura and the Sai Lavara, if that's how you pronounce those two names correctly. Okay, so we're not going to decide which one we're going to do. Let's see. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stay with the humans um, at the moment because we, we're going to just be doing um, a series and we'll have a look at the other races at a later day but for now we'll stick with human and this time I'm going to make a female character because my uh, necrometer is a male character and uh, now this is where we can choose the different aspects you've got elementalist a warrior a guardian engineer and that was not meant to happen okay so that's on the engineer ranger necrometer which I've already got a male version of that so I shan't be doing a necrometer a thief and a mesmer now I might have a look at the elementalist okay this time around and <coughs> there is a lot to cover um, but yeah I think we're gonna go with the element elementalist so this is where you can change all your body type your height you know higher smaller that sort of thing so we're, we're, we're gonna make her a big lady we're actually just gonna I kinda like the outfit that she's got so we're just gonna stick to it but just to go through the options you can change her hairstyle um, there's quite a few bits and pieces to look at I'm not really gonna cover them you know um, I actually quite like the one that she's got unless they've got a ponytail one um, let's see mm -hmm, that's the default one we'll stay with the default one the face details um, eye colour can we change the eye colour violet yes we can but I like green eyes okay nose lips chin and jaw I'm not gonna mess out with any of those the armor dies I kinda quite like the color that they've got but just to show you you can have different kind of colors yeah but I, I think the, the, the one that they picked is um, quite nice actually so we're gonna we're gonna stick with the colors that they've given us okay so you've got four gems now so you've got water fire earth and air I'm gonna pick the fire one because I just like fire as a, an element um, you know and it can be very destructive if used incorrectly uh, so we've got now we've got to pick um, a, 
kind of charm so we've got charm dignity or ferocity I think we're going to go with dignity because she's a woman now where was she raised in the streets by common folk or the nobility I'm going to go for the nobility for this one because again I'm being sexist here and I do apologize to all the girls out there but I'm sexy so I don't really care and she's going to be raised very um, in luxury and her biggest regrets what have we got uh, never searched for her parents never covered my sister's body and I passed my opportunity oh we're going to say we didn't go to the circus okay so yeah is that a missed opportunity no um, we're going to say we didn't recover her, si her dead sister's body we've got to have something that's not very good for us okay now everyone said that we were blessed by what Darwinia goddess of healing air and life Gareth god of darkness ice and death Raza the god of war fire and challenge well we've got to have, have war fire and challenge because she's got fire as her main main thing so let's have a quick look at the others Melduru goddess of nature and earth and growth Lysa many masks and Kormu is the order of spirit and truth no we're going to go for Balthazar Bal yeah Balthazar okay okay so sign what are we going to call her okay so we're going to call her Kara Rebecca Alice because that is a, another character I play in um, another game um, called Second Life and her name is Princess Kara Rebecca Alice so we're going to go with that so here we go he, he starts the game where are we going to start from I don't know and we're getting a blank screen and here we go the human race once ruled tyranny now we struggle to hold our ground we've been defeated driven back but we will not surrender so many nations have fallen. Only Crita still stands. Our faith is strong, despite the silence of the six gods. With courage, we'll make our stand in divinity's reach. The city is my home. I was born into luxury, a noble of divinity's reach, and privilege comes with responsibility. I protect the commoners under my care. They believe in me. I'm grateful for their trust, and I will not let them down. Today I plan to venture beyond the gates of the city and see the world for myself. When I arrived in Shamor, I found the town under siege by centaurs. Innocent villagers are in danger. Someone has to help. I will show the people that we can triumph, and that we are still hope. This is my story. okay guys that is the intro that you get depending on what you pick is the different intro you get because on my necrometer the intro was different because he actually grew up on the streets so now we are 
in the starting stage and there you can see as you picked her on the screen that is how she looks like slight little different color changes but you know very very close so what do we do what's the first thing that we've got to do if you press M it gives you a map and you can see if you zoom out it, it's quite a big area on the zoom out and if you move your mouse button there's loads it's, it's a huge map you know it's it's not quite as big as WoW but you know we're not playing well I'm just comparing it but you know it's um, it's there so what's this guy here so let's go and speak to him please I need your help okay so we can see automatically when you get close to people talk button will come up everybody get to the inn we can protect you at the inn okay so we've got to go to the inn so where's the inn what is that thing it's huge okay so let's have a look and if we look at the map you can see that there's a star go to the inn and uh, that is where we've got to go and these white points is where you've been okay so you know which route you've been to I do know a little bit about this region because this is where I started off with the necrometer but it's still fun to start off with a different character so we're going to the inn which I believe is here okay. so there we go we're at the end now we've got to go and talk to the sergeant so we'll talk to the sergeant we get another intro sergeant there are more centaurs on the other side of town captain Thackeray is calling for reinforcements at the garrison if he's calling for help, it must be serious. But I can't spare anyone. I'll go. Captain Thackeray's never failed Divinity's Reach. If I can help him, I will. Balthazar, bless you. That's the spirit that'll win this war. Good luck. Okay, when you speak to Sergeant Wolf for the first time, no matter what spirit you have, that is the spirit that's going to win the war. That looks like it's built into the game which is fine fair enough it gives you your god is the best god so don't matter what god you pick your god's gonna win okay so now as you can see again on the map you can see on the right corner we've got another star so press M and you can see go to the garrison so that is where we've got to go so before we carry on we're going to have a look at our inventory which is pressing the I key and you can see that we've got absolutely nothing in there now when you first start this game when you first buy it you do get little bits and pieces but this as this is my second character got nothing all we got by the look of it is 12 silver and 16 copper now this looks kind of nice because what it means is the money I earn from another character on the micrometer transfers over to any character I, I, I make so that's going to be quite good so um, what we're going to have a look at is I've got a guild on the other character I'm going to see if we're actually in it and I believe we are we are in it so okay so that looks good so um, automatically if you make another character it puts it into your own guild if you've already made one if you understand what I mean so how many people have we got in the guild Again, there's only one person in the guild, which is me. Have we got a roster, upgrades, new history? 
okay. So what we can't do on this second character is have a look at the ranks and the improvements and stuff like that because she's only a member okay um, we're not going to leave the guild or anything like that but it doesn't show us who's in the guild so we'll have a look on my necrometer a little bit later and see what happens but for now we are going to go off to the garrison but as you can see there's enemies there so we're not going to go straight to the garrison what we're going to do is we're going to go after this this animal here or whatever it is this this archer and we're going to press number one and that's fire and you can see once you're on a target it will automatically yeah Auto fire. You do not have to keep changing. Okay. So, and as you can see, as things progress, for every damage you get, you can see the next skill. There you go. Has kind of come up. So, what have we got for now? Defeating opponents with different weapons will unlock new skills and those weapons. So, Dragon's Tooth, drop an explosive Dragon Tooth on your foe, you can see what it gives you, I'm not going to go through it all, um, so let's go find another monster to kill, okay, so we've got one over here, so we'll go shoot at him, okay, now if you're too far away it won't auto fire, now just press number two as well to drop the dragon tooth. There you go, that's it. It's got a timer on this one. Every action do gives you a little timer. So there's the dragon tooth. Zoom out. There you go. So that's not too bad. So what's this one? Water attunement. Tune to water, gain a superior support and healing ability. <coughs> okay, so. Let's have a look at what the water does. Is there any enemies around here? Yes, there we go. Left one. So it looks like we can have fire and water on this. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of experience. So you can see actually that it's it, it's quite good. It's not too bad. It's like any other games like um, World of Warcraft, Eve. You know, you, you can't suddenly go into high ranks and expect to do lots and lots of damage. You've got to um, got to work your way up. You know. So we're gonna go and get the next next one. Do what we're doing. Okay, shatter stone, so let's have a look at the shatter stone. That's an AOE effect. Okay, quite fun. As you can see, we are getting a little bit of experience. Not a lot, but we are getting some. Okay, I do... Here we go again, we're gonna go and kill him. Okay, so now we're going to wander off a little bit and we're gonna to go to the garrison because I think there we have no enemy. So we've got a new skill called Phoenix, let's use it on this enemy over here. Okay, that's an AOE. Lot of damage on that one. Okay, still only get a small little experience, but okay, let's go to the villager. 
Okay. So we tell them to go to the inn. Yeah, okay, let's go rescue this woman over here, the villager. Talk. Okay, we've got to kill the monster first because obviously he's uh, going to get pain. Won't be a minute, he's dead. Okay, villager, greet. Talk. Hurry to the inn, you'll be safe there. Thank you so much. Okay. We've got another villager here. We'll go and get those done. Okay, let's go and do this. And then after this one, we will go to the garrison. Okay, so let's get our female butt over to the garrison now. Mobs won't attack you if you are more powerful than them. Uh, the reason I know this is because I did it on my necrometer. And when you go, he's a level 11. When you go and do him in, say, a level 4 section, they won't touch you. Okay? It's, it's just like that. But if he goes into a level 9 or 10 section, then the monsters sometimes will, if they're being a little bit hmm, irritable, <coughs> excuse me, will go and uh, attack you. Okay, so now we've got to defend the garrison. Not too, too uh, easy on this. We can see that there's a fight going straight away, so we're going to go straight into it. Got a new event here. So as soon as you get into an event, find something to hit and kill it. Okay? Well, here we go. You can see you've got an acrometer there because you've got blood fiend. We're going to do an area effects of Phoenix. <coughs> okay. So press F1 to pick a target. Use all the skills that you've got. Okay. You don't have to greet anyone. Just remember that when they come, here they come. Enough of this. I've got a few. And as you can see, we've got a gold level. I don't know how they make out the gold, how, how they do um, the gold, the bronze, and the silver. But um, yeah, here we go. Another intro. Big boss is coming. This is what we're going to go up against, guys. Once we've killed this, I think I'll end the first episode here. And. Um, We'll go and have a quick look at, at some other quick stuff. So let's get into it. Let's let's go and kick some butt. As you can see, on the right side, you've got the group event defender of the great. Okay. Uh, now, so basically, get straight in there. Without the rain for the for everything. Let's use the dragon to Oh and the fire. Now, when you see a soldier down, yeah? Go to it, go to near him and revive him. Okay, you only got to... Ooh, we're interrupted. Try and revive him again. Okay. Okay, we're losing the health here. I'm not too worried about. Let's try and concentrate now. Earth Elemental. Okay. So it's hectic. There we go. We've done it.
okay it, it's reloading something now um, you can win or lose against this and you get different options okay here we go what did I say <laughs> have we got anything coming yes where am I what happened you were injured when the elemental exploded Captain Thackeray brought you here personally you've been unconscious for three days you had lots of visitors. Villagers you rescued, some seraph, even a noble from the city. He came by several times. Better be Lord Farron. He's a good friend. I'll check in with him once I'm fully recovered. What should I do now? Fresh air and exercise are the best medicine. The goddess Duena helped you. Perhaps you could help others? Thanks, I will. And thanks for taking such good care of me. Bless you. You'll find plenty to do out in the valley. May Duena protect you. Okay, guys. Um, the goddess Duena um, always protects you, no matter what character you pick, no matter what god you pick. That is part of the part of the game. So now we have something that we can. Um, select so we can select our award now if you put your mouse over the item and the reward you can see that you can or cannot have it now the crooked rod that's a two-handed weapon and the dull dagger is a single-handed weapon and you can see that the dagger is actually better than the crooked rod okay and the wooden focus so we're going to go with the dull dagger okay and obviously you get the bag as well and we get experience points and some copper so we're going to accept those Just one more confirmation about great I am. and there you go you can see how much we've quickly gone up and we are now if we go to hero um, a level 2 elementist okay so the equipment we've got at the moment is um the staff on so what we're going to do is i'm going to quickly exit um the room get out of the get out of this place hey over here okay we're, we're going to ignore him going we're going to ignore him okay we're just going to go over here we're going to end it here guys okay this is episode one of guild war 2 thank you very much for um watching leave a hate leave a like anything you want to uh, make suggest where we go what we do um leave me a message hope you have fun i will see you next episode when we're going to have a look a bit more on what your basic character can do okay so have fun stay safe this is hmk signing off See you next time. Bye for now.